Hi guys, and welcome back to Yuki Sport Grade 2. So, the game ended, and now we're going to look at the extras, the bonus scenes, basically. Welcome to the extra session. Which bonus scene would you like to view? The talk. Uh, what's up, guys? I don't know, Rena. Why don't you tell us that's what's up? Listen, I'm really sorry. We're not here to listen to you apologize, Gremlin. Uh, don't you think you're being too harsh on her, Mika? Don't tell me she doesn't deserve it. Just a little much, especially given the situation. Don't be so mean. You're right. I apologize for seeing so stern, Rena, but I do hope you know what you did was wrong. Yeah, I was just about to apologize. But, uh, guess you didn't want to hear it. Aw, don't cry, Rena. I'm not crying. Look what you did, Mika. What did I do? Oh, you horrible, heartless woman. What? There, there, Rena. <laughs> She's crying. I... Gosh. Sorry. Please don't cry. No, I'm not crying. Anyway, we're here to discuss something of utmost importance with you, Rena. So we appreciate it if you pay attention. This is not so not cute at all, Mika. I'm trying my best. Rina, sweetie, please listen to what we have to say. I'm listening, Mika. The Rina simply would like to get into a polyamorous, I believe that's what it's called, relationship with you. We both really like each other and we also like you. And we'd like to try a relationship involving all three of us. We understand if you're opposed or even turned off by the idea. We also understand if you never like to he hear from the Duco and I ever again. That's a pretty dramatic of you, Mika. There's no way I want to cut off all contact with either of you, no matter what happens. Um... I like you, Mika. I know, sweetie. Y you do? You aren't the most subtle person, you know? Oh, it's funny, actually. Yuki was just telling me about her girlfriends. This whole time I thought she'd been dating the perfect girl. But it ended up being three different people. I didn't even know such a thing existed. I just didn't know it was possible to like more than one person at once, I guess. This is barely new to me, too. I had a nice talk with one of those girls about it on the way here, actually. What was it like? Hmm. It was really nice, to be honest. She said it seemed like the most natural option for the four of them, and that she couldn't envision them anywhere else. I suppose it made me realize that I would really enjoy being in such a relationship with Duco and you. Why are you both looking at me like that? What do you think, Duco? Me? Well... I kind of suggested it. You did? Mm hmm I like Mika and you. You like Mika and Mika likes the both of us. It just makes sense, right? I... What about you, Rina? Duco and I are both on board, which is in your opinion to make the final decision. I... Honestly? I don't know. I guess I just don't want to feel like a second choice to you two of you, since you guys already have each other. I feel like I just end up intruding on your relationship or something. And um, I'd really rather you not offer me this just because you feel sorry for me. I promise you, we're not. Yeah. We really, really like you, Rina. And Mika and I aren't dating. We've been talking and decided to talk it through with you before deciding. Which is why we're here now. So if I say no, you guys would just date each other? I guess. Mika, I suppose that's what will happen. We want to date you too, not just each other. To be honest, the only person I've ever only liked romantically is Mika. Never even thought about Duco in that way. But does this mean I'm not willing to give it a try? You're saying I'm saying I think I should um, date each of you separately before deciding if we should try this poly thing. And if you guys aren't willing to wait for me, then that's fine too. I just don't know if I want to jump into it straight away. What do you think, Duco? I'm fine with it, actually. Didn't really expect you to jump on board immediately, anyway. I agree, I agree. We were afraid that you would reject both of us right off the bat. This is much, a much more favorable outcome. You guys will be willing to wait for my answer? Of course we are. What kind of potential for lovers would we be if we weren't? That's... thank you. I was really expecting a rejection. I hope this was a much more satisfactory outcome for you. It was, and it does feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. 
Were you that worried about it? How could I have not been? I thought I'd be a home record of some sort. Aw, you're so cute. She really likes cute things. Get off me. I'm glad we were able to come to a consensus then. Now that that's been settled, why don't we talk about the other issue at hand? What is there to talk about? I don't know, you kidnapping some poor girl maybe? Ugh. Aw, don't be so harsh on her. I think she deserves it this time. What pray tell possess you to take a random girl hostage? Well, uh, alright. It all started when... Flashback. Thank you for reading this extra scene. Oh, okay. Another one. Alrighty, this will explain first meeting. I can't drown my demons, for they know how to swim. Yeah, that was good. Speak up, write that one down. Not all scars show, not all wounds heal. Sometimes you can't always see the pain someone feels. Whoa, that one rhymed. Write that down. <laughs> write that down, Speaker. What are you doing? <laughs> Oh, she has super long hair. Who are you? My name is Shinatsu. And you are? Um, I'm Spika. Nice to meet you, Spika. Uh, same. What are you doing, Spika? Who is she? Why is she sitting next to me? Oh, could those be song lyrics? <laughs> Don't just look. I'm sorry. Ugh, she looks like a wounded puppy. It's fine, I suppose. It's rubbish. I'm just writing whatever. I love you to the moon and back. What? Oh, you mean this? This stupid little section in my notebook? That's awfully sweet, considering the nature of your other writing. Uh, yeah, I guess. It's just something my mom used to say a lot. I don't know, it's stupid. No, it's not. Huh? I think it's really sweet. I could tell that she really loved you. Oh, uh, thanks, I guess. No, well, this isn't awkward at all. Where do you think she is now? What? Your mother. I don't know, the moon probably. That woman's always loved the moon. She's probably having the time of her life having tea with that woman on the moon and her rock ra rabbit or something. Jade. Huh? Her jade rabbit. Okay, Miss Smarty Pants. <laughs> Why is this girl laughing? You're a really funny pers person, Spika. I am? Mm hmm. I have to go now, but I hope to see you around, honey. Uh, right. Honey, huh? Good day, Spika. Good morning, sweetie. Sweetie? I like it. Yeah, no. As I thought I can't do this. Do what? Call people pet names? Does this have to do something with me calling you honey yesterday? Maybe. <laughs> Aren't you cute? Aren't you cute? Okay, this is gross. We should stop. I think it's really sweet. Huh? Is that so? Why well, fancy meeting you here, darling? Oh, Spika. You really call me darling? Anything for you, darling. <laughs> this is the darling thing come from. Welcome back, my beloved. I'm home. Would you like dinner? A bath? Or perhaps... Wait, what are we doing? <laughs> Playing newlyweds, I assume. Why? I'm not really sure, but I like it. Oh man. Aw, oh, honey, don't be sad. I can be the house if you want me to be the breadwinner. That is not the issue here. <laughs> okay. Well, you seem happier. Huh? Mm-hmm. When I first met you a week ago, you seemed so down. Is that why you talk to me? Well, I couldn't just leave a poor little thing like you alone, now could I? I have no idea how to respond to that. But I guess the past few days have been fun. Thanks, Natsu. You're very welcome, Spika. I've been meaning to ask you this for a while now. How on earth did you manage to get access to the roof? I have my ways. Yeah, that's not suspicious at all. What about you, me? What's the first year like you doing on the roof? I have my ways. <laughs> Spika, yeah? What do you think of forming a club with me? A club? Mm-hmm. We could just we can't just keep trespassing onto the roof. Why not? My sister to say the student council is planning to replace the lock to the roof. Because a certain first year keeps entering without permission. Ugh. 
What kind of club? A gardening club. Pass. Aw. What about the beautification club? Uh, what does that mean? We'd make the school look pretty. That sounds fun. But the beautification club sounds kind of lame. What about council? The BAR, the beautification council. I like the sound of that. Well, this place isn't dusty at all. In its defense, it has been occupied for a few years. Well, shall we get to cleaning? You seem pumped. I am the president of the Mubication Council, after all. It does have a nice ring to it. Come on, my fellow vice president. You've got a council room to deep clean. At your service, dear president. That wasn't tiring at all. I think I'm going to get a haircut. Not a fan of getting in the way of hard labor. We did a great job, sweetie. The room looks a lot cleaner than when we first saw it. I sure hope so. Come here, Spica. Any plans for the future, dear president? Not really. What about you, my fellow vice president? Maybe we could tend to flowers? Are we just an ordinary gardening club? No? Well... I think we should get another member. I like that idea. Then, we could try making snacks. There is a kitchen in here for some reason. Maybe it was a cooking club before. I can provide the ingredients. We can have tea. I do have some extra tea sets I can bring. Speaking of, what are we applying to do with the club budget? We got a substantial amount from the student council after all. Hmm. Let's get a rabbit. A uh, rabbit? Yeah, let's take care of a bunny or something. I doubt we'll be allowed to keep pets, animals in the council room. We're going to have to report every purchase to the student council as well. Oh man. Why do you want to raise a rabbit anyway? I saw a middle schooler who looked like a bunny today. She was awfully adorable. I wish I could have met her too. I would have loved her. What about a pair of bunny ears? As a replacement for the rabbit? Yeah. Instead of a bunny, we'll get a pair of bunny ears. Who will be the bunny then? A new member. <laughs> I like that idea. Alright, let's go get a pair of bunny ears. Sweet. I get to pick them, right? Of course, my dear president. Thank you for everything, Natsu. I wouldn't be discontent if you hadn't chosen to talk to me that day. You're very welcome, sweetheart. I'm glad I got to meet you, too. Alright, let's view another one. An interlude. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Are we lost? What? Oh, okay, this is when they met Haruka. Are you alright, sweetie? Me? Yes, you. You look lost. I, uh, I guess I am. These trees. Don't worry, it's common for students to get lost in the forest when they first attend the academy. Let me show you the way. I'm Shinatsu, a second year. I'm a first year. Haruka is my name. My name is Haruka. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Are you never a sweet thing? Sweet? It's alright, I won't buy it. Not unless you want me to. <laughs> confusion, more confusion. I, uh... Oh dear, Haruka, are you alright? Breathe, honey. Girls have been formerly schooled or truly have a different breathe. I must apologize, I'm not usually like this. Just that flirting with my juniors has led them to opening up more. Well, junior to be more precise. Wild. Excuse me for asking, but what do you mean by formerly schooled? Oh, nothing much. It's just that I was homeschooled for a while. But I haven't met too many people who weren't. Oh, what was that like? Lonely at times, but all things considered, I'm glad my parents chose to homeschool me. I was only with some other stuff at the time, and socializing would have been had probably stressed me out even more. Well, I hope this new environment has been enjoyable for you so far. It sure has been something. Good something or bad something? Good. <sighs> well, I'll assume you're telling the truth. Well, this is the entrance of the school, honey. Let me know if you'd like to go anywhere else. I'll be glad to lead you there. Well, actually, I do need your help. Hmm? 
Do you know where I can find the bathroom? No worries, just around the corner. Is there something wrong, honey? Is this the girls' bathroom? Oh, this is a girls' school. All of our students' bathrooms are for women. Oh, thank you. I'll just take your time, sweetie. What a shy girl. I'm back. Oh, that was pretty fast. Oh, was I? I'm sorry. Hmm? Silly girl, why are you apologizing? I... sorry. Um, thanks for showing me the way. I'll just... hold on. Sorry for startling you, but please don't leave just yet. I'd like to ask you a favor of you. What is it? Would you like to join the Beautification Council? The Beau what? The Beautification Council. It's a little club my friend and I have got going on. We're supposed to be in charge of making the school look pretty, but all we really do is tend the, to the flowers around here. That's... We have snacks and tea in the council room whenever you don't have a job to do. Which is most of the time. I'd love for you to join us. Why me? Hmm? It's just... I don't think I've met, made the best person impression. And we don't even know each other that well. Why would you want some random first year like me to join your club? You're right, we don't know each other that well. But I do know that you want to find a place where you can truly relax and be yourself. I'm hoping for the club council to be that place. Plus, I'd love to get to know you better, if you let me. Okay. Hmm? I'll think about joining your club. Really? Yeah. And I wouldn't mind getting to know more about you, too. I'm so sorry. I'm so happy to hear that, honey. Oh, would you come meet our president? You're not the president? Oh no, Speaker's way more suited for the role than I am. Speaker? Our other member. You're going to love her. Come on, let's walk together. And in the meantime, you can tell me more about yourself. Okay. Well, my name is Haruka and I like running. Alright, we're done with this extra. There's another one. Let's do first meeting. Let me drink some water first. First meeting again. Hey, Speaker, I found a lost kitten. Wait, what? Where? Bring her here. That is not a cat. I found this poor girl wandering in the woods. The poor child was terribly lost. Um, thanks for helping me. You're very welcome, dear. As I mentioned before, this is a beautification council room. You're welcome to stay here for as long as you like. Um, thank you. Well, I have other business to attend to, so I'll be taking my leave now. Get along with each other. Hey, I'm Speaker's surname. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Haruka. I see you are in Minatsu. So what do you think of her? Uh, she's extremely soft, right? Uh, like, I could just eat her up? But, like, not really because that would be cannibalism, and she'd be probably be the one doing the eating. <laughs> Uh, and she's also got this calming motherly vibe to her, so it's really easy for me to be myself around her, you know? Yeah. So, is she going to let me talk, or... And also, she bakes the best cookies. Have I mentioned that she bakes the best cookies because she bakes the best cookies? So, what do you think of her? She's nice. Right? I love her. It's awkward. So, uh, are you first year too? Yeah. The school is great, huh? So many ladies. Well, there's a girl's school. Great brother today, huh? I guess. Well, this is going to be great. Maybe I should try saying something. Are you gay? What? Are you a lesbian? No, no, I understand your question. Why are you asking me that out of nowhere? You seem like the kind of person who applied to girls' school just for the girls. <laughs> that was Yuki, though. No comment. So yes, I do like women. Do you, uh, do you have a problem with that? No, I'm gay too. Okay, straightforward. That's cool too. I think that's attractive. So I want to share tips on how to get ladies. 
You look like a lady killer if I do so say so myself. I don't know. Hang out in the forest, maybe? People tend to get lost there. That's a great idea. <laughs> That's what you got the idea from. Well, I tried. Listen, it's been great going to know you. Really? No. But I should get going. Oh, where to? I can walk you. Like a dog? So blunt. Sorry, that's supposed to be a joke. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Okay, this has been sufficiently awkward. I'll just go now. Yeah, uh, bye. Also, it was nice getting to know you too. Hope to see you around. That was terribly awkward, I, I feel it. As if I'll let that happen. That's what I told myself. So, what am I doing back here? Hey, Haruka, try these. They're spring flavored. What is spring flavored? I don't know, stuff that tastes like spring. Here, try it. Lemon. It's great, right? Not to meet these. Too bad she's not here to join us. Yeah, too bad indeed, since I came for her. Only for me to be greeted by this girl. Hey, do you like the spring? Since your name has a character for spring in it. It's okay, I guess. Hmm. Natsu's name has summer in it, which is why I call her that. Oh yeah, Natsu does have summer. It's definitely not because three syllables are difficult for me to pronounce, got it? Yeah. So anyway, can I call you Haru? Since Haruka has three syllables, which totally isn't bothersome for me, not at all. But Haru is such a cute nickname, don't you think? Not really. What? Come on, Haru. I'll just keep saying it until you get used to it then. Hey, Haru, how are the cookies? Lemons remind you of spring, don't they, Haru? The weather's really nice, totally nice, right, Haru? Wanna go kayaking together, Haru? Stop it. I, uh... Please excuse me. Okay, this dude didn't... She didn't really... I don't think she likes how much she talks. What an overbearing person. But I guess I haven't been totally honest with her either. It's not my fault, right? I'm so sick of having to explain myself to people. I guess not everyone can be as understanding as her. How did she get up on the roof? Russell? What was that sound? Hey, what do you want? Whoa, whoa, there need to be, there's no need to be so welcoming. Listen, I know we kind of got off on the wrong foot, and that's totally on me. But um, I was hoping that we could maybe start over again. Please call me Haruka. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm really sorry for trying to force a nickname on you. I just really wanted to be your friend. But I evidently went about it in the wrong way. Haha. <laughs> sorry. I don't find nicknames. I just prefer it to be something else. That's not my birth name. Do you not like your birth name? Not? Uh, you have to tell me if you don't want to. I guess I don't hate it, but I just like to be called Ruka. I can respect that. And I'm um, sorry for prying. I just say stuff sometimes without thinking. Brain cells are clearly not working today. Uh -huh. Maybe I can donate some to you? Uh -huh. I recognize that's a, a joke. This means we're starting to understand each other. Yeah, sure. Again. Don't you find it stuffy to have your hair that long? Huh? I mean to get mine cut, but I haven't been able to find the time. It sticks to my neck when I get sweat and gets all over the place sometimes. Why don't you just tie it up? I don't know how. You don't know how to tie your hair up? Hey, do you? Do what? You know how to tie your hair up? I guess. Great, will you do mine? Oh, uh, sure. How do you not know? Ah, <sighs> I don't think my neck has poked this bear in a long time. Why don't you just learn how to tie your hair up? I don't know how hair ties work, man. Like, I twist them, and then I'm supposed to loop it through my hair, and then twist it again. It's just too confusing for me. Somehow I don't find that surprising at all. Hey, don't you just find it stifling to wear your hair down all the time? It's not too bad during the colder seasons. Summer's pretty terrible, though. Right? Why don't you wear your hair up, then? If I knew how to tie it up, i wear it up all the time. Hmm, I like wearing it down. Really? Yeah, I guess. I like how it makes me look more feminine. Feminine? But it does get in the way when I do sports. 
It is unfortunate since I kind of like sports. Really? I didn't get the sporty vibe from you. You look like more one of those people who spend all their time in the library. So, a nerd. No, you look bookish. Like an educated lady who drinks fancy tea and reads fancy books with big words. Haruka, you're like really pretty. Um, thank you. And you still look even pretty with a ponytail. So I think you should just wear your hair up if you prefer it that way. If you want to look feminine, there are things you can try. It doesn't just have to be wearing by wearing your hair down. Oh, I don't. It's not that I necessarily want to look feminine. I guess it's just that I want people to be able to tell that I'm a girl, I suppose. Well, you're in a girl's school, so I say that pretty much makes you a girl, too. You don't have to be feminine to be a girl, just like how you don't have to be masculine to be a guy, I guess. Just be yourself, do what makes you happy. If you waste all your time worrying about what others think of you, you're never going to be happy. That was strangely profound, especially coming from someone like you. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? <sighs> okay. What? Nothing, it's just that I've never heard you laugh before. Not much to laugh about in my life. Well then, let me bring some happiness into your life. What do you call a fish with no eye? Well, Mexican tetra don't have eyes. <sighs> what? Oh, okay. <laughs> you know what? I can't even pronounce that. Maybe the time I spend with this person won't be so unbearable after all. Alright, I'm doing that extra. Okay, so here it was always kind of cold. That was interlude. Was that first meeting again? Now I can't remember anymore. Was that first meeting again? Oh, okay, so it was first meeting again. So let me go. Let me go to home. Oh, wait. History, how do I go back? Yeah, let's go to main venue. Yes. Let's go to extras. Okay. Let's go to butterfly. The girl sniffles, tears escaping her eyes. She clenches her fists and wills them away, head tucked firmly in her arms. Just then she hears footsteps approaching her and prays that whoever it is simply walks away. What's wrong? They unfortunately decide to stay. Nothing? Nuh uh, if nothing's wrong, you wouldn't be crying. I'm not crying. What's wrong? The girl hears some shuffling and feels the presence of someone else sitting beside her. Look, it's a butterfly. The girl feels a shiver run down her spine. I don't like butterflies. What? Why not? They're gross. Really? They have too many legs. I think they're pretty. Yeah, the wings are. They're not. As the two continue to argue about the stance on butterfly, the girl finds her tears drying. She finally lifts her head, curious about who had chosen to talk to her. He finally looked up. Does this mean you like butterflies now? What? The girl is confused by the other's thought process. Who are you anyway? I'm Yuki. Yuki last name. The girl refrains from commenting on Yuki's last name. <laughs> last name. I'm... I don't know. Why not? I don't know. Well, that's okay. Want to play together? I'm really good at making flower crowns. Yeah, okay. Yay. The girl finds herself being dragged away by Yuki towards a nearby row of flowers. You can use these. Aren't these flowers public property? I think we got scolded if we use them. What's pu public property? Nothing. Okay. The girl watches as Yuki squats down, seemingly in her own little world as she picks out an array of flowers. I like these. The girl lets herself be dragged away again, this time towards a nearby bench. What do you want your crown to look like? Like a crown? Okay. The girl watches as Yuki gets to work, twisting the flowers in this way and that. So, why are you crying? I wasn't. Okay, why would you buy yourself then? The girl doesn't know how to deflect that question. Why do you want to know? Because you're sad. I don't like when people are sad. The other children were being mean. The girl looks away and bears to admit that something as silly as that made her cry. That's not very nice of them. Yeah, it wasn't. Why were they not being nice to you? I guess they didn't like my clothes or something? 
Hero looks down at the dress he picked out this morning. It was a light shade of pink, decorated with frills and bows. It was her favorite dress. He said I shouldn't be wearing a dress. Why not? Because I'm a... a boy. Jill whispers, feeling her eyes begin to burn again. She rubs at them fiercely, refusing to let herself be affected by the words of others. Does that make you sad? What? Being a boy seems to make you sad. Look, you're crying again. I guess you could say that. Also, I'm not crying. Okay, but why don't you want to be a boy? I want to be a firefighter, but Daddy says only boys do do that. You could be a firefighter. I don't want that. And your father's wrong. Girls can be firefighters too. Mommy said the same thing. Maybe that's why she threw him away. Because <laughs> he doesn't think girls can be firefighters. I see. What do you want to be? Like in the future? Yeah, I still want to be a firefighter even though I'm a girl. Do you even know what a firefighter is? They play water guns, right? <laughs> yeah. The girl ponders over Yuki's question. I want... I want to be a girl. The girl braced herself for Yuki's response. Aren't you one already? Huh? You don't like being a boy, so that makes you a girl. I don't think that's how it works. Also, being a girl makes you not sad, so you're a girl. And you don't want to be a firefighter anyway, so you don't have to be a boy. Although I guess you could still be a firefighter even though you were a girl because I'm a girl and I want to become a firefighter. The girl can only stare at Yuki, ramble on and on about how gender related to one becoming a firefighter. Unable to help herself, the girl bursts into laughter. Yeah, you're finally smiling. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Also, the flower crowns are done. Here, you can have this one. The girl lowers her head for Yuki to place the flower crown on her. You look so pretty. The girl feels her face heat up. No, I don't. Yes, you do. You're the prettiest girl in her class. As Yuki continues showering the girl with praise, a butterfly makes its way near them, likely attracted to the flowers on their heads. The girl notices the creature and lets out an involuntary yelp. <gasps> Whoa, it's another butterfly. Look, look, it's a... Alright, you don't like them. The girl could, not, could only nod, too scared to speak. Shoot, Mr. Butterfly. My friend doesn't like you, so you have to go away for now. The butterfly flutters away, and the girl stops quivering. Why don't you like butterflies? I don't like insects. Uh, bugs. The girl amends when Yuki throws her a look of confusion. They have too many legs. Even the pretty ones? Just because they're pretty doesn't mean they don't have too many legs. I guess you're right. Oh, I have something for you then. Something here, in my, somewhere here in my pocket. Aha! The girl watches that Yuki try and play holds out what seems to be a rock in her hand. What is that? This is a magical stone. It will keep all the eco buggies away from you. Yuki thrusts the rock towards the girl, who hesitates to take it from her. Yuki must have sensed her hesitation because she hastily adds on to her proposal. Marry me too. <laughs> if you get married, not only will the magical stone protect you, but I can protect you too. It's a double protection. Marry... Marrying makes people happy too. Mommy got married recently and I've never seen her smile so much. I want to make you happy. This is too much. We're too young to be married. Oh. The girl finds herself flustering at the side of Yuki's crestfallen face. Maybe in the future we can get married in the future. Okay. I've decided. I don't want to be a firefighter anymore. I want to marry you. Okay. A little breeze drifts by, bringing with it the faint scent of springtime. It ruffles Yuki's hair, causing her to break out into giggles. The girl watches with a smile, the sight of her laughing face, stirring something within the depths of her heart. She feels butterflies budding in her stomach, and the first time in her life she felt welcomes her presence. Alright, and that's the end of that. Of all the extras. That kind of gives background to like how they all met, pretty much. So want to know how Yuki got lured away by Rina, but you know that's that's okay too.